How's it going guys? My name is Jaime Rodriguez, professional airbrush artist here at my mall location in Tempe, Arizona. About to get down doing some single stroke uh, t-shirt airbrush lettering. The definition of single stroke is you get a script name done in one whack while pulling the trigger backwards on each down on each downstroke, creating a calligraphy style look. It's a very uh, very difficult style of lettering the master because ultimately you gotta keep the overspray down, you gotta keep it looking neat and clean. And that's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna keep our, uh, our thin lines thin, crisp, and our thick lines nice and uh, thick and crisp as well with not too much overspray. Uh, I've been painting 15 years. You can see my work at pureimagedesign.com in case you don't know me. A big what's up to all my uh, fellow airbrush friends on the internet. Big what's up to, what's up to westcoastairbrush.com, airbrush.com, custom culture lounge, and uh, learnairbrush.com. But I want to talk about this airbrush I'm using. It's the Omni 3000 airbrush. I've been using this thing since they first came out when they're made by Thayer and Chandler. Now Badger Airbrush makes them. We're still doing a great job with them. I've been using uh, the Badger's versions of them for uh, just as long as they've been making them as well. I also use their Vega 2000s and the Renegades for hard surface uh, painting. But these are great airbrushes, great all around, you know, workhorse for detail. Uh, large scale uh, wall murals, you name it, you could do with this airbrush. But uh, single stroke lettering is very important for the production t-shirt artist that wants to get, get in, make the money, and get out. The reason I say that is because this single stroke lettering allows you to do a name in one single pass, cursive name in particular, without having to go back over it and re-sculpt it and add more flair to it. But in order to do this, you really got to practice and master this technique. It takes a lot of practice, many years, in case you, have, in case you don't know. Um, I've been doing this 15 years and maybe learned this after the 30 year airbrushing. But I keep getting better and better. You never start, stop getting better. Um, the style always gets better. The control always gets better. But uh, what this lettering does is, again, you work the trigger back and forth, just like that, and you're maximizing this double action airbrush. Um, if, if you weren't doing it, you're kind of using this airbrush as a single action if you're doing cursive this one thickness, and, which is fine, it looks great, but you gotta spend the extra time and go back over it. It's no problem, but uh, this is a better way of doing it if you wanna make faster money. But it's not the only way of doing it. So, I'm kind of, like I said, I'm maximizing double action with this particular style because I'm basically using this airbrush as I do the script name. I'm gonna kind of show you what I'm doing here by doing a cursive word. This is my, my, uh, my style of script. I've got a few different styles of script, but here's one of them. Again, keep an eye on how thick these lines get and how crisp they are. And all I'm doing is pulling back on the downstroke. I'm gonna go nice and slow for you guys. You can see it happen. Thick and thin, thick and thin. Do a circle. Basic starburst. The basic t-shirt design. And the infamous drop shadow. The drop shadow, I'm doing a real soft hairline. Very tricky to learn how to master that. But with practice, you can get there. But this is this here is single stroke lettering, and as you see, um, pull back that trigger, go up thin, go back up thin. It's one whack. I don't got to go back over and thicken it up. You could if you want. Say you want to come back in here and add some little tattoo style spikes. You could do that. No problem. And the great thing about it is you got most of the work done with that thick lettering. Uh, the other alternative way of doing it for, you know, this a basic way of doing it is just locking the trigger like that, not moving the trigger. And then come back over and thicken the lines up. Or you can start off thinner. And do the same thing, thicken the lines up. Doesn't matter your style, your preference, I'm just showing you how the pros do it. Now I'm going to dive into one of my graffiti styles. It's utilizing the same single stroke action, maximizing the use of this airbrush. Let's get down and dirty. 
I call this lettering dagger style because it's made up of a bunch of daggers. You know, come in with a nice solid bold outline. Give it that hip hop flavor. This here is my stylized version of graffiti, kind of a cross between uh, you know Japanese, chi you know Chinese writing, Oriental style, whatever you want to call it, graffiti, calligraphy, a little bit of everything, kind of all in one. It's a great alternative to the script. A lot of guys don't like script on their shirts. They're hip hoppers. They want something different. You could price this out just the same as script without the outline, of course, and it's. And it's another alternative. Let's do a little bit more uh, cursive lettering here. Going a little thinner on the on the lettering. Nice hairline drop shadow just to the right of it. this off with some real clean pinstripes, barely utilizing maybe the first millimeter pullback. It takes a lot of precision to get to this point. Uh, with practice, dedication, good sound mind, no give up kind of mentality, you get there, you'll make it happen. The most important, perfect practice is important. If you want to rush through your lessons, your exercises, you ain't going to get there. You want to take your time, you want to go slow, you want to absorb the information, take every stroke one by one, you'll learn it, it'll come to you, you'll adapt, and it'll happen. If you rush through it, it's going to take a long time to get there. Perfect practice leads to perfect results. Rush practice leads to rush results. I um, just want to share that with you in case you're learning how to do this kind of thing. But uh, that's it. That's my, uh, that's my video on uh, single stroke lettering. I hope you enjoy it using the Spectratex paint, the Badger. Uh, Omni 3000. I'm here uh, live at Arizona Hills Mall doing my thing, sharing with you out there. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more of my work, I do. I got some great hard service work. A lot of nice murals on uh, vehicles, uh, some wall murals, some illustration. Uh, at my website at pureimagedesign.com. Again, what's up to all my internet friends? Airbrush.com, West Coast Airbrush, uh, Learn Airbrush, and Custom Culture Lounge. Hope you guys uh, enjoy the video. Until next time, I'll catch you later.